what's up gamers and welcome to the TGS Trivia Show. I'm your host Joe Rivera from the WTF Joe Show. What do you say guys? Should we do some Rochambeau to see you'll kickstart this game? Was there any like parts in this film where you just couldn't hold a straight face or you're just laughing so hard? Uh, like all the time. All the time. <laughs> Alright, and this is the trivia round. This round has three different categories. Four questions each ranging from easy to hard, 100 to 400 points. And the categories are screenshots, game tunes, and film to games. Not only done uh, film and TV, you're also a stage actor, a very mm -hmm. talented one, I might add. Thanks, man. I've done a little bit here and there. <laughs> um, what is it about acting you love so much? Here to help introduce it is Joe from the WTF Joe Show. Well, this last song was just way too WTF to include into any of the other categories. So here it is, Tale of the Dragonborn from the Warp Zone. Tell me, Joe, do you get it now? Yes. Sadly, I get it now. Jane Goldman, screenwriter of Kick-Ass, opens in theaters April 16th. <laughs> this 2009 Ubisoft game released for the Wii shares its name with a song sung by a popular music artist, however was not... Just right. Dance. Correct. Lady Gaga's Just Dance was actually featured in Dance Central. Oh. And now, your video game news. It's been reported that as of this past Christmas, Angry Birds has had over 6.5 million downloads. And why not? It's that addicting. And speaking of high sales, it's been reported that as of last month, Super Meat Boy has sold over 1 million copies, 20% coming from the Xbox Live Arcade, and the rest from PC. So that means there's over 1 million people out there smashing their keyboards and punching out their screens due to how frustratingly hard this game is. But still fun at the same time. Hey, what's up guys? It's Joe from the WTF Joe Show. And TJ from Ivy League Punk. And here is our special holiday edition of Now Loading. Along with Reddit, Red5 Studios will shut down the Firefall beta on January 18th in its one-day protest against the Stop Online Piracy Act. The developer said that they are ashamed of the ESA for supporting this bill and it is clearly not in the best interest of gamers or the gaming industry. And despite the ESA's support in SOPA, there are members that spoke out against it, like 38 Studios and Epic. So, that's good to hear. Now this first clip is an Australian chick who won't stop talking trash to this dude because he keeps knifing her at Call of Duty. Join us next time on the TGS Trivia Show. My name's Joe Rivera with the WTF Joe Show, and I'll see you next time.